Welcome to Arduino. A B then plus C is equal to 2020. A then plus B times C is equal to 2021. And we have to find the integer solutions. Here are only two equations of A and B and C. Maybe you have noticed that. Or most of you have noticed that. 2020, this right hand side. 2021, the right hand side of this equation. These two numbers are quite nearly. So this is the main point for us to deal with this question. Now I'll write these two equations down again. Okay. These two right hand sides, these two numbers are quite close. And if I regard this equation as the number one equation and this is the second equation, then I think most of you or most of us should do this. That is the second equation minus the first equation. We get the subtraction of these two equations. So the third, oh sorry, the, the second equation, the minus the first equation. What is that? Why should we do that? Because if we do this, then the right hand side will be one later. So that is a then plus b c, and then minus a b then plus c with bracket is equal to. 2021, the minus 2020. And now, do some changes. A plus BC, the minus AB, and then minus C is equal to 2021, the minus 2020. It is 1. Wonderful, isn't it? Next step, factoring. We have to factor in the left hand side. From a the minus a b we can take out an a so that is a we have taken out we have taken out an a from these two terms and one minus b in the bracket left and these two terms b c the minus c i can take out what a positive c out and what's in the bracket? It is b minus 1. Now, can we continue factoring the left hand side? Maybe we can, but now we cannot. Because we have a problem here. Because 1 minus b and b minus 1, they are not the same. So we have to change them into a same term. What should we do? The best idea is to change this b minus 1 into 1 minus b and then i times minus 1 on the c. So then I multiply by minus 1 here and minus 1 and this minus 1, they cancel and be 1. a then times 1 minus b and then minus c then times 1 minus b. That is one, the last step of our factoring. A then times one minus B. I'll write it here again. Minus C then times one minus B is equal to one. Pay attention, because here appears one minus B and here again. So we can take out a 1 minus b, and then what's in the bracket? 1 minus b, and then times a, then minus c. Very good. Is equal to 1. Because we have to find the integer solutions of this question, a, b, and c are all integers. Because a, b, and c, they are all integers. So 1 minus b and a minus c, they are both integers. 
So now I have to find the factors of one. One can be written as itself, then times one. It can be also written as minus one and then times minus one. Amazing, is that? The first case. That is one. The minus b is one. A. The minus c is one. And my second case. One minus b. This one just changes into minus one. And here a minus c is also minus one. So now from these two cases, I have to solve the value of a, b, and c. From this case, b is zero. It can it can be solved easily, and a minus c is one because b is zero. So a then plus zero then times c is two thousand twenty one. Then the value of a is two thousand twenty one. So C is the same way to get it, 2020. The second case, we can solve B. It can also be solved easily. That is, 1 minus what? 2 is minus 1. What should we do? How to do the value of A and C? We know the value of B is 2. So this 2, take it here. 2 times a then plus c is 2020. And then 2a then plus c is 2020. So we can get the value of a. The value of a is 673. Then the value of c is 674. So there are two kinds of solutions in all this question. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe me, ring the bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.